There we go. There we go. You can try again. Wait. Wait. Welcome to Bruce and Ned live from New York. It's a sunny, gorgeous day. Oh no, January. <laughs> it's not. I wanted to show you. I love New York in the spring and the summer. It's the best. It's the only time I'd rather be on the beach. Anyway, welcome. Today's welcome to the show. Show is sponsored by yeah v i x e dot com Arvix and Dropbox and Mountain Rose Herbs MountainRoseHerbs dot com. We thank them for their support. And our co-host today, our guest co-host today is Tim Moss, sir, 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 singer, singer, inter- extraordinaire, uh, fabulous, and <laughs> everything. He Tim Moss, he's with us on a Skype fabula- today. Fabulatainer, fabulatainer. There he is. Hey. He's, he's all that and much more. He's too big for the screen. <laughs> he's, he's awesome. We love him. Can you hear us? Yes, I there can. There you are. Are you? <laughs> Good morning. Morning to you on this beautiful New York morning. Yes, isn't it gorgeous? It's wonderful. <laughs> I I just love it. Like I said, I'm just crazy about New York in the spring and the summer. And I love when all I the agree. restaurants, you know, when all the restaurants open up and you can sit outside and the on the oh, outdoor yes. dining and stuff. I just love that. It's uh-huh. so so nice. It's the best. I do not get it. Why people come in the winter? Why, why the, the hordes of tourists? <laughs> Shopping, come, shopping. Uh, yeah. online. Forget it. You want to get out and have fun? Come now. You know, Sleep. people complain about New York in the summertime of all. It's like you just wear beach clothes and you sit outside and slip, sip on, you know, Sex in the City, you know, whatever. Fabulous. And people watch. Um, I love that. What do they call mm-hmm. it? Those drinks? Cosmos? Yes, <laughs> have some Cosmos. I'm just not gay enough to remember what those are called. But yeah, it's just so fat. I love it. I love New York right now. In the wind, it's like, oh my God, it's 30 degrees below zero, and you're all bundled up, and let's stand in the freezing rain and watch the ball drop. Oh I my God. So. You know, we're, <laughs> we could almost see it from the rooftop, but we stay inside and watch it on TV because it's insane. Mm-hmm. Anyway, don't get me started about that. So <laughs> what's new in the life of Tim? Oh my goodness. I've got so much going on. I um, am- uh, oh my gosh, I can't even think of everything. I just did um, a little stint, uh, my one-man show, or a little bit of my one-man show the other night. And uh, actually, a couple nights ago, we did one scene out of a new play called Peaches that I got cast in. It'll be up in September, and then they're shooting the film in December. And What's your one-man show? Is that singing or comedy or everything? It's everything. It's one basically autobiographical. It just talks about my life growing up and... Oh. And um, I see that. just talks about me. Oh, it's yeah. When can I got see some that? Very okay. high highs and some very low lows. And uh, well, that's life. Exactly. Life is good as long as there's dips and when can we big see trips that? up. <laughs> when can we see it? Well, actually, in September, we're going to be bringing it back. What we Basically, what we did was a friend of mine had called and said she had an hour slot open at a theater and knew that I was writing a one man show. Well, my one man show wasn't really ready. So I contacted my friend, Aura Gibbons. I don't know if you know Aura from, from Unity. She's in the choir, mm-hmm. and she's blind. Oh, yeah. yeah. And oh, I, yes. I, I, had went, I had went to see her one-woman show a couple years ago, and oh. she was just telling me that she wanted to resurrect it again and get it back, on, back up and running. And so I said, well, listen, why don't you take a half hour and do part of your show, and I'll take a half hour and do part of my show. We'll come out at the end, sing a song, and call it a show. <laughs> and Perfect, it, and it worked. It oh, worked great. That's very cool. That's very mm-hmm. cool. So, what theater are you in? Well, we were down at the Wings Theater, but okay. um, that was a one night only. But we're going to bring it back for a few nights in September, and I will definitely let you know. Cool. When that yes, works. please. Yeah, I'd definitely. love to hear your life story because. What's your website? If we want to, do you have a blog? Actually, or something? my website, my website is being built right now. I am so oh, excited! Okay. It is so cool. Oh, cool. Um, but it will be timmoss.com. dot com. Tim T Y M T Y M T Y M M O S S M O S S dot com. Dot com. Oh, that's and that should be in about a month. Yeah. T Y M M O S S double M double S dot com. Anyway, that's the thing about the internet. If you don't spell it right, it doesn't work. Yep, exactly. <laughs> That's exciting. That's, That's really great. Really, 
fun. Oh, I'm telling you, that's, yeah, one of many, one of many things. Yeah. But Peaches, the show Peaches that we just did this last weekend, we just did one scene out of it. Mm -hmm. That is the first time since a high school play that I actually stepped out on stage in drag. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait was, a minute. Uh, was that before something. or after the Shakira? I don't know if Shakira counts. Yes. <laughs> that was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Yes, yes, yes. What if, that, that show is called, uh, what is it called again? Colin and... Colin and... Colin, not Colin Oh, Farrell. Ryan and Colin. Ryan, Ryan and, and Colin. 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 I always forget. Yeah. Right, like Colin, Colin with two L's. Colin with Spell two L's. Right. Colin with two L's <laughs> and Ryan. Colin and Ryan? Or Ryan, Ryan and Colin. Colin. Ryan and Colin. Ryan and Colin. Is that, how, is, that, um, is that still in development, or is that coming soon? Yeah. It's still in development. Okay. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's a continual it. thing. They're, they've... Uh, um, Have they taped episodes yet? Or, they, or is it just... No, a, no, it's still, still the same original episodes, it. but they're working on the next set of episodes. Oh. And also shopping around. They were talking to Comedy Central, and oh. so that would be cool. Yeah. Doing like a series or something. That's it's, very it's cool. It's like a soap opera? Like no, a gay soap opera? Well, it's comedy it's, it's kind comedy. of like um beavis and butthead meet south park in the flesh you know they're yeah. just like wild <laughs> crazy like, characters the non-animated version the non-animated version of beavis and butthead meet south park yes right well, there we know. go That's kind of, <laughs> i'm not sure if i would describe it like that it's i think of it as like as like kind of like a sitcom between yeah it could be definitely like, a sitcom it's about two roommates, two roommates ryan and colin and you got and they've got Ryan like Batman and Robin thing going on. They're like unambiguous or ambiguously gay or something. Like one's gay or are they both gay or neither's gay well, or no? The one story? you don't know, you don't know. You don't know. know. That's the I, ambiguity. Yeah, that sounds like I love fear. it. It's so funny. It's hysterical because <laughs> you just don't really know. That they just one acts really, really like he's gay, and the other one's like hmm, and then you're like. Are they both? But they're always doing girls, you know. Yeah, so. well, yeah right. They're just such studs. It's like, <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. It's like, what? It's but so true to life. But isn't what do they like, do when they're... Isn't that like life? It's like life, because you know people like that. What do they do when they're home alone? <laughs> That's what I you don't, don't know. know. Soccer, they think. turn off the camera. <laughs> we don't know that. Well, girls. There's always girls in the scene, so, you know. Uh -huh. Like, I love the best one of all is when <laughs> there's a close-up on his face, and the roommate just knock, or it doesn't even knock. He just comes in. Oh, goes, that's Colin. my favorite one. He goes, Colin, is it Colin? He goes, Colin, Colin, Colin. And he goes, get out. He goes, <laughs> I need to talk to you. Get out, get out, get out. And then you see that he's like right in the middle of making love to his girlfriend. Well, no, well he, <laughs> yeah, he actually, Colin crawls on top of him. And on that's all you him. can see is him on yeah. On top of the other one going, oh, come on, give me some. Let me get a little bit. Let me get a little bit. Oh. <laughs> and then as the camera backs up, you see that he's actually having sex with this girl. Oh, and she God. goes, get out and, of me. And the girl's line. <laughs> yeah, that's the best. <laughs> get out. It's not get off of me. It's yeah. get more out it's of me. Only on the internet. <laughs> get, get out, out of me. Of now. me. <laughs> now. <laughs> I think that might have been their last date. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hysterical. But yeah, the Shakira, you can't even, it's undescribable. You just have to go to, it's uh, ryanandcolin.com with two L's. Ryanandcolin.com, right? Yeah, right? Colin with two L's. And look for Shakira. Yeah, oh my gosh. That's I have got, yeah, it's a, it's a parody. It's a takeoff on Shakira's video called She-Wolf. Oh, I thought it was and real. This is, called, this is called Shakira's He-Wolf. Right. So... We love it. But it's, I it I've had, real. I've I didn't gotten know it was a so many, I've gotten so many adjectives thrown at me, or <laughs> adjectives, whatever they would be, um, oh, describing it. Like, they would be like, oh, my God, that was hysterical. Some said exhilarating. Some said very disturbing. <laughs> some were just like, some were like, ew. Uh, <laughs> That's it. You should put those all together into one quote. Like, like um, you know, what is it? The the what's the big rock magazine? Uh, Rolling Stone, right? You know, like, ter you know, awesome, Rolling unbelievable, Stone. disturbing. Ooh, you know, Ew. all these things. <laughs> Rolling Stone. Yeah, we've sh we've showed it at parties, and it's a great party. Oh uh, yeah, it's a party. It's oh a party good, film. thank we have, you. We have we have Shakira parties. <laughs> he wolf, he wolf parties. It's a great yes. thing to put on the big screen. When you have a whole <laughs> house full of guests with cocktails and little hors d'oeuvres and stuff, and you put that oh on the screen, and God, it stops brilliant. the conversation. They look at it, and they go, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's our friend. Is that real? Yeah, like, we, no, we know, we know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, thank you for claiming me, because yes. many people are yeah. like, I don't know it. I don't know. <laughs> it was on YouTube. I don't know. You never know what you're going to see on YouTube. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. You'll always be claimed here. Yeah. We love you. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, and so, gosh. And so I saw some pictures. Uh, you're doing a soap opera or something, too, or something like that? Another one? A soap opera? Uh, the, uh, let me think. The, oh, the gay soap opera. Yes, yes. Well, I just did. I did one scene for a couple friends of mine. Um, oh. I, okay, let me think of how to explain You're it. doing so many things I have, you can't keep track of them. <laughs> but they, all, of, all of my little universes keep, keep uh, intersecting. That's yeah. I have works. the internet radio show called Artists Exposed with Tim Moss. Artists Exposed. And what I do is I've been very lucky and fortunate. I've, I've interviewed and played the music of some of today's top um, gay and lesbian singers mm -hmm. across the nation. Right. And there's, there, it's a whole area of these incredible singers that are just kind of overlooked because of their sexuality, and they're amazing singers. Yes. Um, actually, one of them, a couple nights ago, won a Tony Award, Levi Christ. He wow. was on my show because I was promoting his album, and Levi Christ just won a Tony Award for his performance in Million Dollar Quartet. Wow, that's nice. great. And, um... So I've had like these amazing entertainers that have come on my show, yeah. and uh, one of them is Athena Reich. She's a singer. Um, are you familiar on on Logo on the television channel, yeah. the cable channel? It's called yes. Logo. They yeah. have a television show called The Click List. Click List, yes. And where they and vote, like they vote on the look, on the films they like the best, right? Isn't that the one where voters they vote on the website? On, like they vote on the website, and the winners end up on the air or something. No. This is on, on the music videos. Every yeah. week, people go and they yeah. vote. Yeah. On, they click. They go online and click yeah. on what's their favorite right. music video. Right. And out of all these gay artists. Well, it yeah. doesn't have to be gay, but it's mostly it's gay and gay friendly. Yeah. Right. And then once a week, they have the click list, which is the top ten countdown, down mm. to whoever's number one, who's the number one, has the number one music video that week in the nation. Right. And probably about... 15 to 18 of my guests have all been in the number one spot at one time or another. Wow. So I've got, and Athena Reich was one of them um, with her song Love is Love, and she also has one out now called Lo The Logical Song, which is a, a cover of Super Tramp song. Oh, nice. Um, but anyway, Athena Reich and her manager, Stephen Schulman, had got together and they had wrote, written this script. They came up with this idea for a gay television soap opera that just continue is a continuation mm -hmm. and they had contacted me and they said you know listen i think you'd be good for this one part and so i went down and i shot it the other day for the pilot mm. and oh we just had a ball i love yeah. working with them and everybody on the in the cast and crew is just so cool you know it's like this huge gay family <laughs> or it's, a it's party. wonderful <laughs> and we all just had a ball it was wonderful and so what were you that's doing? called 16th and 8th 16th and 8th so chelsea what, that's the name of it Yep, it's all about Chelsea. Oh, that's mm -hmm. the name of the, the soap opera. 16th the name and of the 8th. soap opera is 16th and 8th. Oh, that's Which weird. is right in the heart of Chelsea, the we game used to, we, mo we, we lived at 19th and eighth. between 8th and 9th. 19th and 8th. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we, you must be we know 16th and 8th yes. very well. Yes. <laughs> We're going, we'd go, well, 17th and 8th is where we go for the energy kitchen. And it, what's it? Six, what's oh, in the yes. corner of 16th yeah. and 8th? 16th and 8th is, is, the, is the subway, right? The in the, in the uh, Starbucks? No. Yes, 16th right. and 8th you can is catch, Yeah, you can catch the A-train right Starbucks and yeah, the what's on the other Mutual. corner? Wamu, yeah. <laughs> Is that still yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I saw, and you were, what was the, explain that scene, because you had your pants down and some really good looking guy, like, facing oh, you. Oh, wait a minute. Now I gotta Google this. <laughs> is it online? We don't yeah, it's online. Oh my gosh, is that online? They have a picture of that? Oh, I think Pedro, yeah, Pedro has, has him up it? on the on this site. Is it? Is it um, uh, no, that's just Facebook me. I just walk around without pants, you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> Which site is it? Facebook? No, I had, basically what it was, was I was, I played it John, like this really grotesque guy that is just that is paying this this gorgeous young man to. Tim Moss. Can I say this on the air? Yeah. Blow me. Oh. Um, <laughs> I didn't hear that. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we we I was standing there for you know a couple hours w with my pants down and with this gorgeous young man on his knees in front of me, you know, uh -huh. all in a day's second work. Ro second row. <laughs> Oh, all in a day's work, and uh, but you were paying him, so Wait hopefully they paid you. <laughs> <Well>. Yeah. <laughs> you know? 
some no, of the best it's, things it, in it's life really, are not it's free. A, I read the script, and it's a very, very funny script. It's uh-huh. it's about a, a kid, like from the Midwest, which I can relate to. It's not me, but Whoa. this younger kid who is who is currently in West Side Story on Broadway. Mm-hmm. Um, he's uh, he's starring in the in the soap opera and then it's just got all these different characters that live in the building and it can just go so many different directions it's a wonderful script oh here's an album they got a, oh my goodness they got a whole album of him can you see that i don't know uh-huh. no, you can't see it he's but putting it on I'm the, looking at an, Facebook. Album of, ooh, an album of me it's, no it's him <laughs> well there's you oh there's you you're getting your makeup here i'll just i'll just flip through oh yes right from here. annie i love the annie my makeup artist she's oh, wonderful yeah um let's see here yeah, those are probably Pedro Vasquez's um, pictures. Pedro's wonderful. Yeah. He's a, he's a brilliant. I didn't see these. Uh, he's, part he's two, an, actually. That's Go the guy. That's Billy. Profile. Billy was in the scene with me. Uh-huh. I love Billy. Billy's got nice packs. <laughs> Go to Pedro's. Billy's got pretty much nice like everything. It's Bill, right Billy there. Yoder. Oh. Okay. He's wonderful. Uh, part two. Or part, 16th and 8th, part 1. 16th and 8th, part 1. Okay. That's where I saw the picture. No, I think I was either. part 2, I okay, think. Okay, then he was part 2 then. Okay. Yeah, there you go. I don't, I'm not, I don't remember what... Or maybe part 3. I don't, no, I think 2. I don't know. But you'll see me standing there with my, my pants down. Yeah, it's page quite 2. A page 2 spot. of that. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, and cash in my hands. Yeah, I know, I know. That's why I was curious what, what was going on there, because it... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep going. No. Yeah, it's it's an four. adult gay, I mean I mean adult themed gay television show. Mm-hmm. And I think I think it would be That's great for like Showtime or HBO personally. Oh, these are scenes. I th- Is that a scene from the show? Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> What's that in his hand? <laughs> Condom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> gay soap opera. It's and where is this taking place? Like, where are they filming it in? Actually, yeah, they're filming it here in town, a lot in Chelsea. So, mm-hmm. ah. yeah. So this is the part three is. Where Maybe we try saw. three. I don't know if I'm in three or where. It looks like a great crew to work with. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm telling you, everybody. Everybody's very professional. Everybody's really, you, you know, you you get on set, yeah, and especially if you've got like gay people. I mean, I'm not right. putting anything bad, yeah. but um. A lot of times you've got little divas, and you've got your little, you know, you the people that are hard to work with, and, um, oh, there's the Billy. Together. Yeah. But in this, this and cast and crew are all, stuff. it's like everybody, everybody <laughs> is so easy to work with. Yeah. Everybody's, everybody's focus is on the project. We want to make the best we can, and everybody gets along great, and everybody's just wonderful. Oh, there's where you're paying him cash? Oh, this, yeah, we're getting ready, you're setting up the scene or something, and... He's, <laughs> That's okay. funny. So, uh oh! <laughs> Look at your face. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, this must have been. Yeah, we'll just keep before. going, and you'll see. <laughs> it you'll works. See what? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna see if we keep going here? Look at that. Uh, yeah, That's they want to see the in the chat room. They want to see the pictures, but what? they have to be friends with you, I think, to be able to see oh, all yeah, that. Oh yeah, you'll be well in in Facebook. Yeah, in but Facebook. you'll see it on the in the taped version oh, of the show. Yeah, yeah, watching, you'll see the taped version. They're watching sixteenth and eighth. They're watching live, and so they can't see it very well because it's a oh, it's there's a the pants dropped. View. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and look at all the people standing around. That's so funny. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> it's like it's, you're on the camera and they're, they're yeah actually that's the way that's you. the way it is on set that's they're the like, way it is on set this, let me fix that you know fix that. you have to as an actor you have to put yourself into the scene when you have all these mm-hmm. people standing around mm-hmm. that's cool that yeah is. and actually that scene was very funny it was kind of a com it's definitely comedy a comic mm-hmm. scene yeah where mm-hmm. i'm i Paying this kid, and I'm just like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> really gross grinding, guy, grinding, you know? Grinding. Oh my gosh, that looks like fun! I can't wait to see that. Oh, uh, I'm telling you, I have had so much fun with acting because I just got back into acting in like the past couple of years, yeah. acting and singing and everything. Mm-hmm. I basically, I kind of woke up. I did kind of like a Rip Van Winkle thing, mm-hmm. and I just woke up yeah. uh, a couple of years ago, and and. Uh, got, built my life, and I remember mm-hmm. that I'm an entertainer. That's what I'm supposed to be doing, mm-hmm. and I'm having so much fun. And yeah. just with everybody, it's just amazing. Yeah, just and the, with all the new technology, the technology has become so affordable that if you know, the, the, especially the younger people that are in their twenties, that they're catching, yes, they're catching on really, really fast, and they're learning that this the technology that you can buy for a hundred bucks or two hundred dollars now yes. is was you know. 
was like thirty thousand dollars just uh, you know like yesterday. Exactly, so, exactly. And that and, and you the can, internet, you, the combination of that and the internet, and forget it. Everybody can have a television studio in their living oh, room. Oh, they can have they can have quality quality super high quality um, like HD HD. Um, you don't want to know. You footage. know, you know it's, uh, we're, I know we're diverging onto uh, technology a little bit, but that's okay because everybody cares about this stuff. Sure, but sure. Get a load of this. We we bought. You know, just we've been uh, vamping up our our little creation here, our little TV studio in our apartment, right? And uh-huh. um, we're always continuously trying to improve it. You know, learn and figure yeah. and try new things. We without screwing up the old things, try new things and all that stuff. And so we're always buying new things and trying new stuff. Well, what we found out <laughs> is that people think you need, you know, a, a seven thousand dollar camcorder and all this crazy stuff. But yeah. for a studio, <laughs> in fact, like, well, first of all, the audio is is very very important. That's why we talk right into the mic. And mm-hmm. uh, this is a studio condenser microphone, which most people don't think of, but you've got to get a really really good microphone because audio mm-hmm. is like ninety five percent of the show. If even if they're watching online or something. If the audio is bad, they're not going to listen. So, uh, and, and also, probably more than half only listen to the audio as an MP3 on their portable devices and yeah. stuff and their commute or whatever. So audio is really, really key. It's more important than video. But then when you get up to video, we were using, we were actually using an old camcorder and we weren't even recording. We were just taking FireWire directly into the computer, a FireWire cable, and mm-hmm. recording it on the computer. What we found out, though, is... I was researching getting a better camera because we wanted to bump it up to HD, which we are, by the way. We're in mm-hmm. 10, 1080p. Cool. This is now 1080p, even as on of, YouTube. And as you, of today. We're kind of like in sync Yay. with what's happening because YouTube just went up to 1080p. We are now at 1080p as of this is the first show. And Ed's new phone. <laughs> hold up your phone. His The new HTC Evo from Sprint is... 10, well, it's 720p. It's actually 720p, but it, it you know, it's it's HD. So what we wanted to do is bump up the video quality as well. So we'll see how this how this works out. But here's the thing. Sweet. Here's the thing. This might cost eighty eight dollars or something. The camera. Guess how oh much? My. Guess how much this camera cost? It, it's uh, twelve hundred by sixteen hundred. Uh, it 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 records in 1080p. Guess how much the camera cost? I I have absolutely no idea. It just about wiped out our life savings. It yeah. how much was it? Fifty five dollars. Fifty five dollars. Because what gosh, I realized, I was reading and I was studying. I'm googling and I'm studying. You know, he's asleep and I'm in bed googling, googling, and I'm always doing that. And I was reading and researching. And I was going, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do I need a camcorder for? I don't need a camcorder. This is a fixed studio. We need a camcorder if we're out doing things, shots. You know, obviously out out yeah, doing whatever. Right. You're moving around and all that, but we're fit. We're we're at a fixed stationary setup. We uh-huh. don't need a camcorder. In fact, we don't even exactly. use the recording functionality at all. So what we did is they have these new <laughs> webcams that are and you. But you, what you have to do, you got to ignore all the marketing garbage on it and look for the specs where it says. And, and also, ignore the megapixels. That's irrelevant. Megapixels mm. is nonsense. You're not taking still pictures with it. Look at where it says maximum video resolution. That's all you have to look for. Maximum video resolution. And this one is called Rocketfish, but it was $55 at Best Buy Not right off the nice. shelf. And it's, it's, you know, 1200 Is it 1200 by 1600 by 1600 Or 1600 by 1200 I think it's 1600 by 1200 Anyway, it comes out at 1080p. So we uploaded it to YouTube, and I didn't even know YouTube could go that high. I uploaded it, and boom, there's a button, 1080p. It's amazing. Ah! Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> so now you now we have now we really need makeup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't look at the crow's eyes. Well, yeah. Crow's feet. Well, I was <laughs> I was like, telling him like, there's nothing like having like being so close that you can almost feel like you're right there. Yeah. So that's I yeah. think that's He's, the whole thing about HD and for a show like ours, you know, people really get to know us and feel like they actually have met us. If, mm-hmm. With this new HD, he's got a great mm-hmm. eye for that. So you know, when you're watching, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure that you click right down there where it says 360p. <laughs> change it to 1080p, and it's like, whoa! Suddenly, you just transported yourself into our our living, our room. living room because. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and he's right. <laughs> that, he's absolutely right. Psychologically, when you see somebody that crystal clear, it really does feel like you're sitting right there with them. It's uh-huh. not like a cartoonish, right. like you're looking blurry, through a window or something. Yeah, or, right. or a, bl- a blurry picture of a, a bad picture in a magazine or something. Yeah, it's actually like you're there. 
That's yeah. right. uh-huh. And the audio too. The audio makes all the difference too because when you're when you have a really good microphone and you know you use it properly, like we're supposed to be four to six inches away or whatever, and in front of it, then and that's and the, by the way, this is the secret. This is the you know speaking of uh, cost saving high tech gadgetry. <laughs> um, this thing, I don't have it lined up right. This is how you integrate Skype and all computer audio. Anything that your computer can put out, whether it's you're playing a YouTube video or Skype or anything, if you try to integrate that into a feed and record it into the same uh, encoder that's recording this, you know, 1080p video and all that crap. Uh, you're going to have all nothing but technical nightmares, I guarantee you. The most technical people, all the software, it's going to just have this big collision in your computer. It's a nightmare. And then it, and it won't work. After you invest all that money and all that, and you're just going to pull your hair out. But this is the answer. You mm-hmm. see what this is? That is a speaker. speaker. That's a speaker. That's, that's right. Me. That's your voice, And by that's the way. your voice. You're that's literally you. between us here. Yep. You're <laughs> you've come between us. But that's your voice, and it's sitting r- where? Right in front of the microphone. This is a pop yep. filter, which we're actually using as a shelf. But So that speaker, <laughs> anything that comes out of the computer, including your voice, it's like your lips are right here in front of the mic as well. All three of us uh-huh. are right here. So it all goes into one mic, which, you know, the less microphones, the better, because the less to go wrong, the less, you know, you're going to get a hiss and a hum, and you're not going to know where it came from, and, uh, you know, the levels and all that stuff, so that we have no mixer, one mic, Less to go wrong, and it's recorded straight in you know one video source and one microphone, and the speaker. So anything that I bring up, including you on Skype, sounds crystal clear, just as if you're sitting here. Uh-huh. That's the secret. And what did it cost? It cost basically like nothing. I mean, this equipment is. That's the secret: is knowing how to do it on a shoestring. <coughs> you can really make, and you don't have to use a microphone like this. You can also use lavaliers. And if you want, you can get a mixer. You know that you know you can have two or three or four lavalier microphones that are similarly that with a mixer and going to one USB. There you go. Or like this handheld. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, a handheld. Exactly. That works great too. So anyway, it's it's really easy in, to do. Mo- I mean, uh, it's above uh, technically. It's above a lot of people's has to do it and then when you talk when they talk to people it's just like computers in general when you talk to somebody anybody who knows more than you is a consultant <laughs> you know but um, if you talk to somebody and they you know it depends on who you talk to about how to do things you talk to an audio engineer oh my gosh you're gonna have to you know mortgage your house to get the equipment you need <laughs> you know or or a video you know somebody whose background is in television and broadcasting they don't really know about these fifty five dollar yeah. cameras you know, they, they're like, mm, right. nah, what? No, that's just for, you know, uh, instant yeah, you messaging. Yeah, you have to have, you know, a $15,000, you know, red camera or something. Yeah, and I'm <laughs> telling you, this camera, this it's Rocketfish, right? It's $55, 1600 wow. by 1200 it has, uh, it has autofocus, so it immediately focuses itself. And it also, I'm sure it has auto light adjustment because when we did it at, at different lighting levels, it would automatically adjust to that too. It's amazing. Wow, cool. It just plugs in with the USB and it has a microphone, which of course we don't use that microphone, but you know, it's, it's just incredible how those electronics yeah. are getting small. And this, his phone is obviously, it's a 720p, uh, you know, high def video camera and it plays Jeez. it plays 720p high def video on it so when you watch like he can watch youtube in 1080p on his phone and watch our show right like our show this show right now on his phone in the restaurant and people are like wow cuz they're looking at it in high they've never seen high def on a phone and now that's not all you can plug in a ca- I sound like a commercial for HTC I was going to say but wait there's more and they're not a sponsor <laughs> they're not a sponsor yet but we will anyway they have a they, you can plug in a cord and plug it are you ready for this you could plug it a cord into his phone plug it into your huge HD TV hanging on the wall and watch movies oh in HD coming out of your phone. Yeah, it's great. A movie that you downloaded or off of, uh, you know, whatever, the Creative Commons licensed movie or whatever. Yeah. It, it's amazing, this technology. And it's just like boom, 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 boom. My recommendations are only good for two or three weeks now at this point. Things are changing so fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So tell us well, about – uh, no, go ahead. Finish I was it. just going to say because, Bruce, you and you and Ed are my consultants <laughs> because I'm – I always see you on Twitter, and you've just got like the latest knowledge on the latest gadget, and and how many pixels and all of that. I have no idea what you're talking about, but boy, you do. I'm here for you, baby. Call me. Call me. (laughs) Whenever you have a question, just call me. Anybody. Any. I'm open. 
call me, email me feedback, and that goes for you in the audience too. I mean, that's what I'm here for. I want to help share this um, knowledge because I know it's it's not out of reach. It's just that people don't know what to buy or how right. to plug it in. Right. They don't, right. But it's so and the simple. thing is, we're living in such an exciting time. Yeah. I mean, in in many different ways. Yes. yes. Um, culturally, it it because everything is is has been shaken to the core. Now I'm going off into a different direction, but <laughs> okay. like in, in, in entertainment, in the music industry, the major labels, they're shaken because of the internet. Television, right. who watches television anymore? Most people, if they want to see something, go to the The internet, it has changed the way people view television anymore. They're watch, they'll go to Hulu, they'll go to YouTube or something and watch repeats. Yes, right. So everything seems to be shifting towards the internet. It's a very exciting time that we're living in. Totally. I, in fact, I'm like always <laughs> one step ahead, you know, in my, my circle of family and friends and, and whatever, Twitter fan, <laughs> Twitter followers or whatever. I'm always a little bit ahead. And the, the you know... Like Netflix just came out with a box that you can buy or rent or something, and it'll it, you can plug this box in between your internet and your TV, and it's like, oh wow! So I can still keep Netflix in between my internet and my TV and pay them every month. Uh, no, no, you don't need to do that. You can you can buy a computer, a brand new desktop computer for one ninety nine at Best Buy. This thing called the Revo, Evo, something like it's a. Uh, what was Revo. that? Revo. Uh, Acer. Acer Aspire Revo. One ninety nine at Best Buy. It's amazing. Oh Has an HDMI out. You plug it into your TV. You install Ubuntu on it. You install Boxy. And now Boxy has a put.io app. And I know this is techn technical. This is a little bit too technical for the scope of this show. But we have another show called Absotechly. So tune in there and I'll tell you all about how to, the recipe of how to do it. But get, uh -huh. get a load of this. The box is one ninety nine. Everything else is free. Ubuntu is free. Um, the um, Boxy is free. The Put.io app is free. The only thing that's not free is Put.io. That's a service. But that it uh -huh. allows you to download uh, absolutely anything off the internet. And uh, with, wow. it, like in HD with no commercials and all that jazz. And just watch it right there on your TV in HD. Nice. It's, it's, like, the commer it's like the TiVo on steroids of your dreams. It's amazing. <laughs> you don't need cable. That saves $111 after tax a month. Wow. You don't yeah. need cable. You don't need Netflix. That saves whatever it is, you know, $10 or $20 a month. People are paying for that. You know, these monthly expenses add up to a cruise. Oh, tell you me. Could, we could, take, we could oh. all take a 14-day cruise together for the amount of money that, you know, that you save every year on that stuff. Yeah, that's true. You know, it's nuts. Oh, and the other thing is, <laughs> you talk about the Internet changing everything. It cha it, the technology and the Internet kind of hand in hand. Um, there's absolutely not a single industry that isn't changed. You know, I, I, I agree. Craig Newmark, the guy who started Craigslist, and you know, people think, oh, Craigslist is you know classifieds, okay, whatever. They kind of they really don't think it through about the impact that Craigslist has on the world, oh. but it does because yeah. every industry. I mean, I don't care if you're talking about dating. Things like eHarmonyMatch.com, all those kind of things. Yeah, um, yeah. They, they have to actually the whole industry change their business model because uh -huh. to a free model because their biggest competitor is Craigslist, and it's free. Craigslist is yeah. free. Same thing with eBay. eBay, you know, eBay is not just an auction site; it's a an internet conglomerate now, mega billion dollar company. But eBay, the auction site's number one competitor. Craigslist. Craigslist. And it's wow. free. And it's free. Imagine whatever business you're in, well, if your biggest competitor is free. Yeah, well, they kind of set the standard or set the bar. Yeah, and they set the bar well, at like zero. Everybody else. At yeah. zero. So it's like re the benefit to mankind that Craig Mark is. Craig. Um, Newmark. 
Thank you. <laughs> Craig Newmark, <laughs> Mike Craig Newmark is doing is beyond belief. He turned down, you know, I mean, everybody knows the story. He turned down four and a half billion. He turned it down. And I interviewed him, you know, last year about this. I want to get him back again and talk about more things. But he just blows my mind. He, wow. you know, I mean, he doesn't want to be called, a, you know, um, I don't know. It's, you know, that Craigslist is a business, you know, um, but it's really more than that. It's like the most amazing, profound contribution to mankind that there is. Mm -hmm. And you think it's just a little free classified site, but it's actually, it's, it revolutionizes everything. It really does. Well, you can find anything on there, a job. Um, anything. Anything. A <laughs> an trash. Apartment. You can find <laughs> trash that people are going to throw to the curb. And pick it up before I throw it away. Hey, you know, we've furnished yeah, right, apartments. Exactly. Our apartment on 19th Street, we, you know, is half furnished by Craigslist and half by Costco. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> Craigslist is, is brilliant for finding apartments, furniture, dates, you know, anything. It's just absolutely everything. Yeah. And it's free, 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 free. And that sets the bar on, you mm -hmm. know, a high quality um, communication. It's really, I think it's really about freedom of communication and, and how that... Uh, gives everyone an equal playing ground, playing field. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like this yeah, thing about I, FOSS, I, you know, I don't know, it, I'm getting technical again, but there's this uh, internet, uh, this is a little bit technical, but the internet coding, um, I guess you would call it coding language, the codecs that encode video and audio, okay? Mm -hmm. There's like MP3 is one, but everybody thinks MP3 is just a, a format that people actually a patent pr protected thing. That every time oh, you, that. yeah, every time you use an MP3, you you have an MP3 player. Some money went to the guy who owned the patent. You encode something in MP3, you play it back. Every everything you do with an MP3, wow. some money goes to the guy who invented the patent. It's a patented thing. Um, the so is H.264, which is the video uh, codec that plays on iPhones and and a lot of mobile phones. H.264. So what? Wow, and, I didn't know that. I didn't well, know all that. Now you do. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's why I go to you for your thing. big consultant, you see, the, your high-tech consultant. <laughs> but, and not only that, but here's why it's important. Why does it matter? Why do you care? Who cares? Whatever. It works, right? But it really does matter. The engineers at Google are smarter than me, that's for sure. And they realize that this really, really does matter because you can't share something freely if you have to pay somebody a patent, then they're going to end up sued and in court right. and, and sued to bankruptcy and all that nonsense. Mm -hmm. This intellectual property is nonsense is really, really. Um, it's it's almost it's a it's almost the opposite of free speech. It's really uh, mm -hmm. restricting everyone's use of of material. So, anyway, Google. But the problem is that those proprietary codecs are superior. They're really, really good. They work well. They're good technology. So Google, in its wisdom, okay. Um, decided that in order to ex they want to expand the internet because obviously every, the more people that use the internet the more money they make um, apparently that's their you know that's what they're, they'll tell you is their business motive well they and they own YouTube hello like all the videos on the internet almost you know it's, like, oh, it's YouTube right it's a massive massive yeah. video thing so what they did is they found <clears throat> they found a superior codec video codec that existed out there I had never even heard of it I mean, I sort of had. I'd heard of it. I'd heard of the company, but I didn't really know that it was better. Well, they did. They figured it out. And so they, they bought the company. And the mm. video codec is called VP8. And then there, the audio codec, there was already a free open source audio codec that was superior to MP3 and all those called Vorbis. And so what they did is they put the two together. They married. They bought the company, so now they own the codec. They took the VP8 and the Vorbis, and they put it together, and they called it a new, a new package, a new name called WebM, like M like Mary, WebM. And you're going to hear a lot about WebM, even though you, you don't know what it is right now. You, you're going to hear a lot. Everything is WebM soon. And wow. here, what the they did – oh, I'm supposed to look over is here. That, is that, is web, that video, video and audio? Right. Yeah, Vorbis is the audio, and VP8 is the video, and combined into so one M, one unit, web video M and audio is, both. is WebM is both. Right. And this, but this, is, I mean, there's always been packages like that, but this is because you've heard of you know flashes like that, and there's the other, yeah. other one is um, HTML can be H264 is the video part, and so all this nonsense, all this craziness. Well, not the here's the thing: none of those were free, open source. They were not unencumbered by patents. Now uh. this, what Google did, they bought it, they own the patent, 
so they unlocked it. They made it free. They they freed it. Ah! They gave it as a That's gift. It's Christmas. Good. That's why I said it's Christmas in June, and Google is Santa. They gave the whole world <laughs> this this codec for free, and now everything, everything, even mm-hmm. Apple's proprietary little big brother kingdom is going to be supporting WebM. They won't have any choice because everything Ow. will be WebM. And right now, Google, who owns YouTube, YouTube is converting all videos on YouTube to WebM. Mm. Wow. All videos are in the process of being converted to WebM right now. So it's really an exciting time. It's really, huh. and, You know, like I think of, you know, we talk about Unity, and I think of um, this free open source movement. They call it FOSS, free open source software, is kind of like the unity of philosophy as applied to technology. It's yeah, we're, right. we're all one. It's like the word Ubuntu. The Linux is the operating system of free open source world, and Linux is the superior operating system. We won't get into all that. Like almost all of the web is run on Linux. The NASA or the Mars Lunar Rover runs on Linux. I mean, everything mm. important. All of Google runs on Linux. Well, anyway, the number one installation uh, type of Linux for desktop computers is called Ubuntu. Ubuntu Linux. All right. Well, anyway, the word uh-huh. Ubuntu itself is an African word that means unity. It means like we're all one community mm. connected. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a very cool thing. And when he says free open, yeah, when he says free open source, it really means freedom. As yeah. in, not yeah. not not just like right. people think it means like it doesn't cost, cost anything, yeah. which is true also. But the main meaning is freedom. Freedom. Yeah, it just it gives you the freedom to do anything. Yeah, free as in anything. free speech, oh. uh, not just free as in free beer. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> well, you. Um, uh, <clears throat> talk oh, yes. about our sponsors. Yes, we definitely want to thank, thank our sponsors. Our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't forget about you. Okay, let's see. No, sponsors are wonderful. <laughs> That's right. They make it all happen. So let's do that. First, Arvix. <clears throat> Arvix.com. A R V I X E.com. Uh, Arvix Web Hosting is, is our hosting provider um, of choice. We um, Ever since we switched to Arvix, we are very happy. Their customer service is extreme. They, um, their uptime is, is unbelievable. They never go down. And when you need tech support, like I did last night, I was talking to them. And I talked to the guy and I said, do you work 24 hours a day? How in the world are you always here? They're always there. They speak your language. And they uh, they know what you want. And they can translate it. You know, They can tell you exactly what to click, how to do it. Uh, they speak plain English, but they're very, very, very technical. You're not going to get somebody who says, well, I don't know how to do that. I'll have to escalate your call, you know, or whatever, and put you on hold again. And they are right here in this country. They're in Arizona. So, you know, when you talk to them, you're talking to somebody who can speak your language, both in technical, as technical as you can talk, or as plain, simple English, if you're not that technical. They are there to help you 24 hours a day. You call them up. And they'll help you. So, you know, and that's important because when you're doing web hosting, anytime you have a website, whether um, it's just a simple domain name and you have it routing to another uh, service that's hosting your actual website, or if you have actual software that's running on their servers to run your website, either way, they you need that support because when something goes wrong, when your website goes down, it's it's a problem. So, um, and I had an issue. That's why I was calling them last night because I'm transferring one by one. I'm transferring all of our domain names into Arvix, and I, just when I have time because I'm in between other things. I've been very busy, and it's just my time. But as I'm transferring the domains into Arvix, I had some problems because some of them were not transferring because. The other, the old provider wasn't uh, releasing them or something. It wasn't a problem with Arvix, but they helped me. They helped me figure out, and they say this is what's what. This is exactly what to ask them about when you call the old provider. This is tell them this is what you need. But they're there for you all the time. So we love Arvix, and for a very very small monthly fee, um, you can get unlimited bandwidth, unlimited storage, unlimited number of domain names, and the first .com registration is even free. They, they will let you register it, and they will renew it for free for life, as long as you have that domain hosting. Arvix. So Arvix. Arvix.com. And the next one is Dropbox.com. Drop. And, and it's a great uh, backup um, you know, system. It's, it uh, does file sharing, backup, file synchronization. It's like we think of it as our file server in the sky. It's like every computer that you own and every even every phone that you have all of the data is synchronized between all of them it sounds really complicated and convoluted but it's not you just download this little program and boom it creates a little folder on your computer 
on all your computers called the Dropbox folder and you put all your files into the Dropbox folder that you care about. Anything that you, I call it irreplaceable stuff, right. like your family photos, documents, spreadsheets, letters you wrote, presentations you worked on, anything that you created. I mean, if it's something you downloaded and you can get another copy anytime, I don't put that in Dropbox. But the things that I created, that we created, that we work on, um, photos, videos, home movies, anything like that, it all goes in the Dropbox. And what happens is, the instant that you copy it into your Dropbox folder, boom, it's in every computer. Bing, 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 bing. Every computer you have and every phone you have, that file now is there, plus a copy out on their, on their servers too. So it's automatically synchronized. And it's amazing because you can delete the file from anywhere and it deletes it from everywhere. However, you can always go and get it back again, even after you delete it. It's almost like you can put the file in the trash can but the trash can never gets completely emptied. Right. So <laughs> it's amazing. You could have deleted something four years ago, but you remember that you had it at one time. You had it. You can go back with this thing called Pack Rat service. Um, it's a, a couple dollars extra, and you can actually go back and have and re restore anything that ever existed in your Dropbox with no limits, mm -hmm. unlimited. And another thing is the sharing. You can actually, every file that I put into my Dropbox folder, in Dropbox Public actually, gives, gives you a link. So every single file I have has a URL. So I can, uh, if I have a really cool video or something I want to send to you, and it's too big for email, I can just get the URL and I can email you this URL, http colon slash slash blah 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 blah. I email it to you or text message it to you or instant message it to you you can click it or right click save it as and now you have the actual file the actual movie or yeah, photos or right. you can zip an entire folder structure into one file and send one link so dropbox dropbox.com it's free two gigabytes are free go to our website uh breadtv.com b-r-e-d-t-v.com and look at the show notes area and you'll see the links to all the sponsors and you'll get a little bit extra space if you if you do that and finally uh, mountainroseherbs.com uh, they're the um, the best place to buy your uh, teas and superfoods and essential oils and uh, they emph their emphasis is on sustained agriculture so uh, you're buying something that uh, is providing uh, farmers um, you know a, uh, or farmers are providing a great organic product or natural product and uh, and it's agreeable with Mother Earth, so it's all green and proper, and it's not uh, you know killing our Earth. It's actually producing other great things um, from the products that they're producing, and uh, so it's a great place to buy your 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 foods, your teas, your oils, your um, everything, herbal extracts. I mean, everything you want is Super at mountainroseherbs.com. Super high quality, organic, sustainable, and the lowest prices you can find anywhere. Yes. The internet is far, far cheaper than um, the, the local stores. But mm -hmm. it's mountainroseherbs, H-E-R-B-S dot com. And again, you can go to the link on our site. Go to breadtv.com and look at the show notes area, and there's links for our sponsors. And you'll get uh, extra little perks. Okay, <laughs> so uh, we've got a few chats here, and one of the chats that I thought, uh, Tim, um, they want to uh -huh. know, how did you become an actor as someone wanting to become an actor? What advice would you give them to start the ball rolling? Mm. Well, very good question, actually. Um, my recommendation for how to become is study. Mm -hmm. Definitely study and learn your craft. Um, I had a rather unconventional way of studying and learning the acting craft. I don't know if we have the time or not, but I'll try to give a brief description. Basically, 27 years ago, I moved to New York to become an entertainer, singer and actor, and I got sidetracked in real estate, which was the biggest role of my life. For over 20 years, I played the role of a real estate broker. I hated every <laughs> second of it. I could not stand. I learned thinking. I learned cultures from around the world um, because we had people coming in. Those are the things that I drew from it. Yeah. Um, uh, but that 
uh, from the dark side that also created, I was so unhappy and so miserable that that developed into a huge drug addiction, alcoholism, all of that stuff. Um, once I crashed and started rehab and uh, relapse prevention, um, my memory started coming back and I remember that I'm an entertainer mm -hmm. and acting being part of it. And uh, I know Ed and Bruce from Unity of New York, which is basically uh, a metaphysical um, type of thinking, uh, Bruce mixed with Christianity, mixed with like basically all of the religions from around the world. Mm -hmm. And it's basically that we hold the power within ourselves and the universe will help us. I think it was maybe Jean or Goethe, one of the two, that had said when you commit to something, then the universe will conspire to help you. That's right. Yeah. And that is very true in my case. Once I decided that I would clean myself up and that I wanted to get back into acting, the doors started to open for me. And all of this knowledge that I had accumulated over the past several years started just to come into play. Um, but, but my advice is learn the craft, learn the craft, in, in anything that that falls true if you want to be an accountant learn it if you want to be an actor learn it if you want to be a, a computer technician learn that what whatever whatever but but my advice is follow your heart mm -hmm. whatever whatever your heart is telling you and and if that's what brings you joy and happiness by all means go for it go for it mm -hmm. it is an unconventional business <laughs> so don't expect to work nine to five, hit the time clock, and go home. Get a paycheck. Every That's week. not. That is not this business. So, yeah. but otherwise, enjoy it. Enjoy, enjoy. Mm -hmm. That is my philosophy of life. Yeah. How do you learn it? Like, where do you? Where would you recommend learning some? Uh, you know, learning this trade. Well, it. it okay. Well, it depends. Uh, normally, the best schools are in the big cities. You know, mm -hmm. you're go you're talking L.A., New York, mm -hmm. um, Miami, Chicago. Um, but I would say New York and L.A. are really like the two main ones in the United States that offer top quality acting. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. You might even check online. I'm sure there's something online. Yeah, they want to know, uh, would you suggest New York Film Academy? Oh, New York Film Academy. I love them. I've done a lot of film work with them. In actuality, I did uh, when I f – that, okay, let me explain that. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to learn film acting how to act on film. Mm -hmm. And so one of my first jobs, I, I signed up. There are a couple of things. If you want to get a piece of paper and a pen, I'll tell you about in just a moment. Um, we have like two minutes left. <laughs> okay, just to let but you there's, <laughs> there, my, first, my first job that I went out on was to be an extra on a big budget film with like Andy Garcia and Alan Arkin. And, and I was just one of the people in the background. And I was like, this is so not acting. I want to be <laughs> doing what Andy and Alan are doing. That's me. Yeah. And... <laughs> and um, so I ended up going to the, or, or following up uh, leads to New York Film Academy and because they always need actors for their projects. And these are speaking roles there. You learn lighting and, and camera work and all of that and how to act on film. Mm -hmm. That would be a big suggestion. I would mm -hmm. definitely recommend that mm -hmm. as well. Cool. But the two names that I will give you are actorsaccess.com mm -hmm. and also... Uh, if you're in New York, um, it's NewYorkCasting.com. But that one also covers many across the country. They have not only New York Casting, but L.A., Chicago, all of these others. So I would definitely awesome. recommend start there. Those are awesome, awesome tips. Great. And and thanks for sharing that. Yeah. That's, I, I think that we met you on your uh, the flip side of your life. Which is mm -hmm. the new, the new you? Yeah, the good yeah. fun side. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that's always good. And we love well, it. We're gonna have to. We're definitely gonna have to continue this. We're, we're gonna have you on sure. another time soon. Oh, there's lots to talk about. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so <laughs> much but for being here. Thank you so much. I yes. had a wonderful time on yes. here. I love you guys. Thanks. Just Thanks. We love you too. All right. Well, we're gonna continue this for sure. Another another day. Maybe okay. tomorrow. No. <laughs> All right. Take care and thanks for coming. Thanks for being here with us. Bye, guys. Love. Yeah. Okay. Mwah. Mwah.